All right, and welcome back to A Dash of Life, your favorite Wednesday evening show starring Dash. You know you love it. Uh, so thank you again for, man, we had a great show last week. We had a little bit of difficulties, but, uh, man, Greg was awesome. It was fun to talk to him. Um, but this week we've got a great, great guest, uh, a friend of the family's, a friend of my wife's, a friend of mine. Uh, she's done illustrations. She's done... Uh, art you name it she's a graphic artist she's an amazing thing uh, you know amazing artist and she does a lot of great things so we'll be bringing her on here in just a few minutes uh but again if you're new to the show this show is just about my friends and and the amazing things that they accomplish in their lives whether it's writing books starting their own businesses uh training people you know i've got i know a lot of trainers um next couple of weeks we're going to be having some great guests come on a uh, friend of mine, Anna, is going to come on, do some cooking for us. So that'll be a great episode to watch. Finally get some, see some food. Instead of talking about all this health, we're going to see some food and stuff like that. So it'll be a, it'll be a good time. But uh, thank you for the amazing um, guy, things that you guys do. I just want to showcase that off. So, uh, again, I appreciate all my friends. And this is a way for me to showcase their talents to my other friends. So uh, we'll be bringing her on here in just a moment, but uh, we'll be closing this out. I just want to remind you that the uh, uh, 22 for Cliff is this Saturday, 8 a.m. at Mitch Park. So I hope to see you guys out there. Uh, remember uh, what this is all about. Um, we got the shirts in. It'll be amazing. Um, they turned out great. I've already seen them. So we'll be getting the ones that need to be mailed out, mailed out, and the ones that delivered at the walk, we'll get those delivered to you. So we'll be bringing Glory on here in just a second. As soon as I get her, uh, get her invitation on there. So Glory, if you're out there watching, go ahead and shoot that invite, and we'll get started. Uh, guys, she's done some amazing stuff. I'm just going to showcase uh, one of the, the the books here. It's called Space Station Vacation. Uh, she uh, illustrated this. I know she's got quite a few more. That she's illustrated i showcased uh some of her art on my page today go check it out um man she's been very helpful with me through a lot of things um help help me get the 22 for cliff she did the graphic design for it for the t-shirt um so uh it's amazing that some of the stuff that she her art, artistic ability can do so we'll be getting her on here in just a second hopefully uh so, Glory, if you're out there, shoot me an invite. Um, but, guys, feel free during the uh, the show tonight to ask questions. If you've got questions for her, uh, uh, feel free to, uh, you know, pl uh, give any advice or anything like that that you want to do. Um, I like I like to have the uh, people playing along there. So, um, and, again, if you're watching and you can think of another show that you want to see, Feel free to throw it out there if you got ideas. Throw it out there, um, and we'll we'll try to get those shows set up. And then, does it show you a place where there shows you're watching? Uh, are you watching on your phone, Glory? If you're on your phone, it should say to uh, ask to join in. Here we go with the technical. If you're watching on your phone, it'll it should say that it'll it should show you to where you can. Join. So without further ado, I'm going to be bringing Glory on again. Like I said, she's done some amazing illustrations. She illustrated kids' books, um, some other. Uh, she does wonderful, wonderful art. All of her books, I believe, are on uh, Amazon for sure. Um, so hopefully, we'll get her to, to name some of the other books uh, that she's done. But again, we have this one called Space Station Vacation. It's about Christmas. I believe it's a Christmas book. So try to check it out soon. Um, get it for, for the, uh, the upcoming Christmas season. And we're going to have technical difficulties again, aren't we?
Make sure that you're horizontal on the phone. Maybe that'll work. Or if you're in an area where it's good and no Wi-Fi is on, I hope. Again, if you have any any ideas or shows that you want to see, feel free to throw them in the comments. Um, you know, if there's somebody you want to see that you would like to see, let me know. I'll try to get them on as well. Uh, we've got a great month coming up. Like I said, we've got Anna, uh, a friend of mine from school. Uh, she is a uh, is a cook, uh, or she teaches at uh, Francis Tuttle. Uh, I shouldn't call her a cook. She's a chef. Uh, she's going to be doing some uh, cooking for us on one of the shows. I got another friend from uh, college that I went with, Alicia. We'll be having her on to do uh, talk about some of her training and some of the clients that she's trained. She does wonderful. She's good friends with Trichelle. We've had her on before. Uh, Try it again. Send another. Send another invite, Glory. Love technical difficulties. Yeah, it says you're. It says you're declining. Send one more invite. Are you? Are you got your phone horizontal? You got no Wi-Fi on. Every time. I got to figure out a better way to do this. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get you on here in a second. There okay. it is. Did it. <laughs> this, this was a user error on my part. That's all right. I, I'm telling you, I, I don't have, I have like the worst luck with uh, technology anyway. So, uh, but welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad to be here. Yeah, I'm glad to have you on. It's been, uh, uh, I, I haven't known you for a long time. It's been about, what, five years now, I think. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, you've just uh, doing some amazing things. Um, your art is fantastic. I've, I've looked through a couple of your books. Uh, we'll get to going on that. But uh, I just want to welcome you to the show. Uh, thank you. Thank you right now from the bottom of my heart for everything that you have helped me with in the last, I don't know, uh, three or four months. So from from, walk, uh, 22, from 22 for Cliff to, uh, you know, um, training and everything. It, it's just been awesome to finally get my feels like I'm back in the game here. So I appreciate that. That's great. Good so, to hear. Uh, yeah. So uh, let's get into it. What got you into art? Uh, man, I don't know. I've just been drawing since I was a little kid. And of course, you know, you and I grew up in the age where computers didn't exist yet. <laughs> True. So, so I just drew. And, uh, you know, as I got older, I still didn't know what I was going to do with it. Um, yeah. And really just didn't, I just uh, just kept drawing and drawing, but didn't really find my way until I ended up going back to school uh, in my late 20s. Yeah. And that's when I found graphic design and was able to kind of join everything together. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, do you have a favorite genre? Do you, or do you just like to draw everything? Or is there something you like always like, I, if I'm gonna draw, I'm drawing this. Hmm. That's a good question. So there's a few that I really, really enjoy and I'll stop to do, um, if I need to maybe take a break on whatever I'm working on and do something to clear my mind. Um, I'm going to do probably a realistic drawing in either charcoal or pencil. And I sent you an example of that earlier. Um, I'm going to do a digital painting that's on uh, similar to what's on my Behance page, or I'm gonna do a really abstract watercolor. Yeah, nice. So uh, yeah, you, might, uh, you and you and Lorena have uh, that in common with the, with the paint and the drawing and the painting. And man, it's amazing. I mean, I wish, I, I can get a good stick figure. I'll tell you that I can get a really good tree. <laughs> I can get a really good tree and I can get a really good stick figure. But no, I, I just, uh, I, just reading through some, and, 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 and 
looking at some of the pictures you sent me today, plus some of the books that I, I purchased off of uh, Amazon, it's just amazing. Um, uh, is that, has that been always like, is that what you knew what you wanted to do was to be an artist and illustrator or, or did you like, did it just like, we know we talked about it growing up, but was that was like, I'm, this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to make that happen no matter what. Um, I think I had that mindset that I was going to have some kind of career in this field. Um, and so I think I was determined and that really was the thing that I kept going back to. Um, as far as illustrating books, that's something that I, in the back of my mind, always wanted to do. And in fact, my first job out of college um, was for to illustrate for a publishing company. Um, and that's where I did maybe some of the ones that you've seen mm -hmm. on, um, on Amazon, except for the space station vacation. I did that through um, Doodle and Pet Publishing here, but it's based here in Oklahoma. Right. Um, but... Uh, so I started out doing that and learning a lot about that process, which is, is fascinating. You know, the more that you can learn about each and every one of those steps, yeah. it's, it's it's awesome. So started off doing illustrating then then moved to doing the design aspect of it where you're laying out the books and getting them ready to be published and print ready and doing the, the cover designs. So that was really cool too. Um, but then, you know, when I started to do graphic design, um, I don't know. I think that everything that I've done has just really just been circling around and, and right. rejoining back up. You know, uh, I have a, I'm really excited about the books I've done. That space station vacation. I'm working on the second book right now. Uh, and I'm, that's, excited. I'm really excited about that. And um, I also have another book in mind that I'd like to do. So I think it's something I want to continue doing. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it's, it's, it's fun. I think, if it's something that you love, you might as well, well keep doing it. And, you know, uh, I, I kind of like with me and training, I, I love doing it. So I just keep doing it. And whether it's for family members or whatnot, I'm going to do it. I, I enjoy that. But uh, what would you say is the hardest part of, you know, is it, is it getting the design? Is it, or, you know, like listening to what the person wants is what is the hardest part when you're dealing with illustrating a book? Um, the time to sit down and do it. <laughs> <laughs> time is everything. Yeah, I can imagine that. Yeah. You know, because you're always having ideas go on in your mind and you're, you're, you always have these ideas just kind of rumbling around, but to uh, sit down and do it, whether it's for a client, sometimes it's easier to make time for a client than it is to make time for yourself. Right. And so I struggle to find time for myself to just kind of take a break and pause and do the things that I really enjoy right. doing too. So that that's the hardest part is really finding the time for balance. No, I can imagine. Um, what 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 is it? What it would be a typical day that you would put in on? Let's say, you know, you're not working at your 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 uh, your normal job. If it was like, a, let's say a Saturday. I don't know what days you are you're off, but if you were putting in a normal day's work for, for illustrations for a book, how long, what would you put in for that? Um, so I can't, I'm not one of those people that can just sit there and just straight go at it and do it. Uh, I would separate my day and uh, separate some goals that I want to have. So mm -hmm. for example, um, the book I'm doing right now, I'll take some time in the morning, I'll drink my coffee, and it was very necessary. And um, <laughs> then I'll start sketching out and I try to listen to music, just keep that creative flow going. Um, and then I'll stop and do coloring. So I'll stop mm -hmm. on a page that I really like and I'll start working on coloring that page um, and take a break, walk away and then come back a little bit refreshed, you know, do stuff yeah. around the house, do stuff, yard work but I've got to break it up so that I can stop looking at it and then come back and look with fresh eyes. Yeah, I agree with that for kind of like when I was, when I was writing, I had to, you know, I, I mean, I would get in a groove for a while where I was just writing, 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 and then it would be like, I have to, I have to stop, you know, or, 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 yeah. or get up and, and walk away. So I can understand that. Um, uh, it's important so, to charge. What's that? 
it's important to recharge whether oh, that's your creativity um just where you are mentally rested it's really important to take the time um so that you can give your best work yeah well, yeah for sure is there i mean have you ever thought about teaching to people to draw is it like being an art teacher or things like that has that ever crossed your mind just I think it'd be cool. I've always loved the idea of it. Um, I've uh, volunteered at my daughter's high school graphic design classes uh, a couple times and did some lessons on that. And that was a lot of fun. So I'm yeah. always open to it. And even really just trying to sit down with someone who has specific questions. Like how not to draw a stock a stick figure. <laughs> 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 so you, we we were talking uh, not too long ago. You're 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 starting like a, I guess like a sideline or a, a side business where you're wanting to do, to is it gra you just want to focus on graphic designing for people for businesses? Is that what it is? Is so what, what is this? Yeah. So what I'm doing is is I've had extensive experience in you know the design world for over ten years, and I've had a lot of different roles. Um, so what I'm offering to other small businesses is my expertise, you know, maybe they don't want to uh, hire a full time graphic designer or a social media expert or a marketing strategist. So they hire me to either do a job or to give them a certain number of hours every month. So right. it's really just kind of offering a small business something that they may not have thought that they could afford. Mm -hmm. And then getting them to get some really great return on their investment. So that's everything from just like, just for example, t-shirt design or, or, or sign design or whatever yes. that, or just, yeah. Uh, I know you work for, you're, you're working for Brahms and you do the, the, the graphic designing for them. Is that correct? Like, do you do all the, like the, the menus and things like that or what is i know you've done the signs but what else have you done for them uh i've done a bunch of things for them um when i first started i was involved with their rebrand and helping with that um there's another really awesome graphic designer that works there too uh even though we're a really small group um so i do a lot of the digital content management and deal with a lot of the signs right um you're your drive-through signs. Um, I do media buying. I do some packaging. Mm -hmm. I do mailers. Uh, basically, it's whatever needs to get done. Yeah, see, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Package right there. You get it all. You, your signs, whatever <laughs> you need. I guarantee you, she can get it done. Uh, I've seen again. I've seen some of the great work. Go check out my Facebook page. Uh, we posted some wonderful pictures that she's done. Uh, but I've seen some other stuff. Um, I'm actually trying to get her, talk her into doing the cover of my book. If she'll say yes. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but uh, you're just a, yeah, I, I find it totally amazing that uh, the detail, I mean, like I, I, I've seen artists, I've got lots of friends that are artists, but the detail on some of your stuff, just that's Santa Claus. Holy cow. I'm just going to bring this up guys. Yeah, he's uh, he's awesome. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, that is just the detail For is perfect. Sure. So I mean that I mean that how that picture alone. How long would that how long would that picture alone take you right there? Um, probably a good ten to fifteen hours. Yeah. I yeah. I, I I used to think I I, I talked to another buddy of mine. I used to uh, I used to think like you know what drawing took like hour but you know just an hour and i'm just like because he would bring i mean he'd bring out some you know some amazing stuff as well and i'm just like how in the world he's like yeah it took me two or three days and i'm like what he's like yeah you just, <laughs> it's just uh so uh, you, shout out to you i, I just I, I amazed at that and I, I hope you keep doing more more uh illustration books uh like the wife and or lorraine and i bought bought this one when i knew i was i was getting you on here to do the show i was like i i, I want to see more of, of your stuff because she had shown me a few things and she goes did you know glory has illustrated books and they're on amazon <laughs> like, no why didn't you tell me so i went yeah we went out and bought a couple of them and i you know they're they're just fantastic so what, do, what do you what do, what's the future holding for you right now uh actually uh i'm starting a new role pretty soon 
Um, I'm leaving Brahms. They've been fantastic, but I'm starting a role at this place called Bakery Bling where I'm going to be their art director. Nice. So I'm super excited about that. And that's really overseeing all the art pieces that they're doing and packaging. Um, but then I'm also growing my business on the side, doing marketing consultation. And like you said, I do logos, brand identities, marketing strategy, social media, anything you can think of. I've got a great sign guy. <laughs> if you need a good sign, uh, anything that you need. Right. So you, I think I've seen a few of his. And, I think I've seen a few of his signs, haven't I? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so it's um, you know I want to build that to where eventually I'm uh, working from home full time and mm -hmm. can be involved with all the things that my kids are doing, um, and and really just have that freedom to live my life and have that great balance but then also put all that effort into doing something i'm super passionate about yeah, absolutely i like being I, I i like being a stay-at-home dad and doing the the work here now i i you know like i said i'm i'm involved in a few things I, i'm trying to start a, a dash of life i'm trying to get it going you know from just a a, a pet project to uh, to an actual you know, a, a, a business, if, if you will. So I, I know we've talked to a few times and the struggles and the struggles. I've got some more ideas for you too. I know. Good. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely talk those over, but that's, that's <laughs> what I, you know, I, I enjoy being home because I get to be with the girls when I was in the military. I never got to uh, actually be home and appreciate my family. Now, and then when I, I retired, I, I took a few uh, a, a few months off and I went right back into it. But I, I mean, now being fully retired, actually staying home, doing the things with the kids, it's 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 a payoff. So yeah, I agree with you on that one, staying home mm -hmm. and still being able to do what you want to do, but being there for the family, that makes perfect yeah. sense. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just, uh, there's so many ideas that I got and I'm always, I know I'm always bouncing them off of you. So you're, you're almost, you're like that. You're like that awesome sounding board, like that, that, that person who is like, all right, that's crazy. Or no, let's try that. <laughs> so like I told you, I, from, from, you know, helping me out with, with Cliff and, and, and his walk his Memorial walk to helping me get a, the picture that I'm getting ready to paint starting tomorrow. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they turned out wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, they're so awesome. I'm pumped up. Yeah, we did. That, that was a wonderful man. It's just great. So, um, the training. Now, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna pat myself on the back a little bit, but uh, okay. How's the training going? Uh, the training has been great. I um, I think I've lost a half a pound, or no, 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 half an inch on my waist, and about five pounds, and that's been in four weeks. That's good. That, um, that's so, right where we want it to be. Yeah, I've been happy about those results and I feel really good and I'm starting to feel stronger, which is what I want. Yeah. Uh, we, you know, I have, it, I've told just, you I have a, a lot of uh, muscle fatigue mm -hmm. with the um, autoimmune suppressants I'm on. So that can make it really difficult. So to be able to feel strong or feel like I'm in that groove again is, a, is huge for me. Yeah. I, that, yeah, I always like getting the 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 feedback uh, when when I give you a workout, and it's either it's either the thumbs up if you like it, or it's ah. Oh. <laughs> no, that, that was horrible. <laughs> yeah, that that always. But no, that's what that's what we live for. Uh, but I I'm so glad that we can go on um, this journey. You know, we got so many journeys that we can go on, but this 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 one makes me happy as far as. The, the results and we'll, we'll just keep going. And it's, you know, uh, what I tell a lot of my clients is, you know, some people, everybody's different. You know, this guy, this guy, you know, Mark, Marcus, my buddy will back me up on this one. Um, uh, this person may lose 10 or 15 pounds in, 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 in a month, whereas certain people will lose only five, but the interest is what I'm worried about. I, pounds will yeah. come off. Pounds will come off when we're ready. It's the inches that we're working toward, and it's the it's the strengthening of that core where you had your surgery mm -hmm. and everything. That's what I'm focused on. So weight loss, once we get stronger and stronger, if that's what our goal is, that will come. Yeah. But you, you like you said, you told me you want to be stronger, and and hearing yeah. that you're getting stronger, that's what I like to hear. So is there a, 
what's a big goal for you? Like we, we talked about, we talked about, you know, the, the working home, but what's something that Glory has on her bucket list that, that she still wants to do? Man, there's so many things. <laughs> there's so many things. Uh, and I wrote a huge list when I thought I didn't have much time left. And I was able to do a lot of those things, but you know, I want to travel. Um, I would love to have a coffee shop. I would love to um, live on a boat for a period yeah. of time. I want to fish a lot. Uh, you know, there's so many things I want to do. Yeah, yeah. Just gotta coffee keep, shop, keep it coffee going. shop would be perfect where people can come in and draw on your walls as you're serving coffee. See, there you go. That would there's be cool. I pitched you an yeah. idea. I get. <laughs> a coffee um, shop and bakery and you know i'd love to have um a, a big resort where uh we're right on the water right and just i don't know i i love dealing with people i love being uh out in a situation like that where everyone's relaxing and chill and loves to be outside so i don't know there's there's a lot on there's a lot in store so i gotta keep my health up the best well, I can to absolutely. do it. Absolutely. Well, that's what that's what those bucket lists are working towards. I put that in that book. I don't know if you've gotten that far in my book yet, but not I, not yet. I will hit. I will probably you as you get going. You're going to see bucket list, and and I'm going to be like, this is you're going to hear it over and over again because I think it, as cliche as it sounds, it, it it's an excellent tool to use. You know, it doesn't have to be a thirty item list. No. It can be a ten item list or a five item list. But do something, and, and whether it's a short-term bucket or a long-term bucket, have both of those. And, and, and man, that, that, that goes a long way towards your health and towards your, uh, your fitness as well. So I'm, I'm proud of you. Keep it up. Um, well, I, again, I just want to say what an awesome job. Everybody, if you have not seen, read this book, or uh, go get it. Read the book. Look at the pictures. Know that Glory did all the illustrations. I know you've got uh, a few other books. Is, uh, what's some of the other ones that you have on Amazon? Um, I've got to go back and look and see if they're still on there. The uh, publishing company that uh, I worked for is no longer in business. Okay. So I'm not sure if any of those are still available. Um, I know that some of the authors went um, and work now with Doodle and Pet Publishing yeah. um, that I've met there. And so I'd have to go and look. Okay. But I'll definitely keep you in the loop on the next books that come out. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. It's just like my buddy, uh, my buddy Mark. He's got uh, his books. If you, we, we've talked about books before. You know, our Brandon Sanderson and and all those. But go ch if you haven't, go check out his books. They're really, they're really, really good. And and actually, and I, I down I downloaded the one since I saw the show. I downloaded one of them and I started that. Yeah, awesome. But I have a, I have like four or five books on my nightstand that I'm trying yeah. to read. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get through the arc light, uh, the arc light uh, one by Brandon Sanderson. So uh, the way of Kings, man, what a, oh, I haven't not, started that one. Oh, uh, yeah. Start when you, you it's, it, this book is so interesting. But enough about that. He's I, a great, I, he's a great author. Yeah, I love Brandon. Sanderson. It's, I mean, when he took over for Jordan, it was just like nothing had changed. And I just love the way he writes. So well, I want to thank you for coming on tonight. Uh, you get a reprieve from workout tonight um, because you were on the show. So I'll allow you to have a okay. night off. <laughs> um, but uh, thank you so much for everything that you do for, for my girls, for Lorena, for me. You're such an awesome friend to have. Thank and you. I, we so appreciate you. Uh, we'll get you back on when some other, when the new book comes out or you got something okay. uh, you, you're ready to show. But again, I appreciate you and thank you so much. Thank you, Gordon. Appreciate it. All right. We'll see you soon, okay? Okay. Bye. All right, guys. That was Glory. Uh, like I said, a friend of, friend of my wife's, and she's known my wife for, for uh, many years, and she's helped me through a lot of uh, some of the stuff that I've gone through, Dash of Life, to, uh, you know, pitching me ideas. So I appreciate her. Guys, just remember, you can do anything that you want and you set your mind to. You can do it. If you're wanting to start a book, do it. If you're wanting to draw and illustrate, do it. If you're uh, like my buddy Marcus out there who's watching right now, who's doing a wonderful, wonderful job on his his food blogging, man. Go check out his page. Go check out all the food places he he, he visits. 
Uh, I get hungry every time. I, I've had him on the show a few times, but man, every time he posts a picture, I'm ready to go eat. So Marcus, love you, brother. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. But just remember, you guys can do anything you want to. Don't don't settle for nothing. Just step outside that box. Take a, take a journey of where you want to go. And like I said, we were talking about bucket lists. Make a short-term goal. Make a long-term one. Try to knock those things off there, okay? And just remember, um, if you're part of the, uh, the you know, you don't have to be a part of everybody. The, the, the 22 for Cliff out at Mitch Park this weekend, 8 o'clock. Mitch Park, we're walking for a buddy of mine um, who's no longer with us. Uh, so you can come out, enjoy the camaraderie, enjoy the festivities that will be there. And just uh, remember, I say this every week, but I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Take care of one another, love one another, and I'll see you next week.